continuing with the real estate video series, we were up to the point we last we last left our hero, and she had obtained a mortgage. The house was appraised. Uh, the financial information was verified. This was a perfect candidate. The bank lent money, gave a mortgage commitment. This is the promise to provide you a mortgage at the closing. What else happens? What happens next? Well, as long as the bank is ready, you then have to wait for the parallel process of clearing title, if there is anything to clear. So while our borrower, buyer, right, both the same, similar words, borrower, buyer, obtained the mortgage, the lawyer for the borrower, buyer, did a title search. If the title search is clean, clear, no violations, no liens, no encumbrances, those two events met in perfect unison, and we can schedule a closing. Subject to maybe the, the buyer would like to stay in their own home uh, an extra week or so, or the seller needs a week or three weeks to get ready to get into their uh, next home. If, in fact, the, uh, the title is not clear, it is the obligation of the seller and seller's attorney, they work as a team also on their side, they have to clear title. So that could be that there's an open or outstanding violation. It could be that they have to secure um, a payoff. Now that could be paid at closing. It could be that there's uh, an open permit issue. Maybe they were building uh, a deck or an extension or a second floor or something that was never um, completed. Maybe there's a sidewalk violation. These are things that have to be taken care of by the seller. And we'll continue tomorrow, I know. Probably end. If you need any assistance, please go to frankbrunolaw.com.